Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me. I am doing a video on how to attach the limbs on this really cute and cuddly and super soft Bernat Velvet Bear. Uh, here's the yarn I used. So super soft and I can't wait to um, show you all the colors it comes in. I'll have links to that on the blog and in this video. Um, so there is a smaller version of this that is available for free on yarnspirations.com and I have gone ahead and actually uh, pretty much tripled, maybe even a little bigger, the size of the bear and this pattern will be available on repeatcrafterme.com and uh, I had uh, asked you guys on social media if you wanted a little video on how to attach the arms and legs and attach the head to the body and you said yes so let's get right into it I did already do the face sorry about that but once I show you kind of these other parts I think you're gonna get the hang of it um so I have left actually both the bottom of the head and the top of the body open and I'm just gonna stitch them together and I've stuffed them pretty generously with polyfill um, so they're really steady and actually I don't need both strands of this so I'm gonna go ahead and weave in real quick this one just because we're we only need one loose end and let me get my scissors okay I'm just gonna stuff this down here okay so first thing to make sure is here's my seam and you always want that in the back and here's the bare head I hope you guys can see this in the video um, maybe I'll lay it down okay so I'm literally just going to follow along these edges and stitch it together. If I can get this guy out, let's see. Okay, sorry about that, we're back. Got my strand. Okay, I'm gonna put these two together. Let's move the arms and the legs out of the photo. Okay, so I have this seam in the back, this seam in the back, this over and I'm literally just going to go under the tops of the single crochet stitches okay and you basically work under both of them to bring them together just like so This uh, yarn is so soft it's sliding around and I'm doing it on my floor so I could get the whole bear in frame all right so let's just keep going so I'm just working under those single crochet stitches going around
Now you could go around again to make it even sturdier. I'm just going to do a couple more stitches. Look how cute this guy is. Look, he's so floppy. So you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to go around one more time so he's a little more sturdy. You could leave him floppy, but if you want the head to sit better, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pinch this together. Let's just do it with the needle. So I'm gonna go under here, basically over here, and we're gonna mattress stitch it closed so it just has a little more sturdiness to it. Either way, it's gonna be so cute, it's not gonna matter, but That's why it's really important to leave an extra long tail as well. last stitch. Okay, I'm going to weave this in. It's really actually on really tight right now, so I don't have any fear of this guy falling apart. Do some arms and I don't know why I didn't do this before. Let's call this yarn through. Okay. Now here's what I like to do on the arms. Bring this through my tapestry needle. Okay. I'm gonna put the seam down on the inside and I'm gonna put the arms basically on either side of the head, okay? And I'm gonna pick, you could, you can put them down a little lower, you could put them down right here on the crease, whatever you want. I think I'm just gonna go right about here. And here's what I'm gonna do first. I wanna just get my yarn. This is basically gonna be pinched closed. I just want to get my yarn to the end here. So you pinch this closed, you set it here, and you weave this under, through both sides of these edges, see how they're pinched closed, and pull through. Okay. See how that hangs nice, hangs down so nicely. Let's do one more stitch, and then I'm just gonna weave it in. Okay. 
Okay. Now go ahead and do the same for the other arm on the other side. Now for the other side, <clears throat> use your rows to your advantage. So see how, or you, basically your rounds, see how this arm is attached to this round right here? I'm gonna make sure it's even and I'm gonna start on that same round. And I'm just gonna start connecting it. Remember I have these pinched closed. it in. See how I don't like how I, that corner's not really sewn down? I'm just going to go back in and attach it. Make sure it is solid. And I like to weave my ends in towards the back side. two arms. Let's see if I can show you guys. Look how fluffy and soft this guy is. Okay, let's do the legs or the feet. Okay, so I have my feet. I have them stuffed fairly well as well. Let's see. When you sit the bear up, you kind of want his feet to go outwards. Hope you guys can see this. You want his feet to go outwards. So they're basically want to, you're going to want them to go on like that. Okay. So I'm going to lay them down. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're going to want to do your best to hold the foot because you're going to sew it on so it's open. Here, let's see. get this as right as possible. Okay. I'm going to hold it down and I'm just going to go just like we did before under the tops of these single crochet stitches onto the body. And just hold it there as well as you can. I'm gonna turn the bear around so we can get this side. No, I can't see.
Okay. Almost on, just that little part. Poor bear, he's all squished up right now. There's one foot on. I'm going to weave in the ends. Yay, one foot. Okay, now remember your other one, you want to make it pretty even right on the other side. Remember, use your rounds as your guide. So the top of this foot goes on this round. This looks about even. Okay. And I'm just gonna go for it. Start stitching this on. Squish them up again. Yeah, I'm just going to look. So the bottom of the foot. There, I'm right in the right spot. Got it. Okay. Yay, I think I actually got them on pretty even. Now, if you really mess that up, you could cut this and take it off and use a new strand and start over. Um, practice makes perfect, guys. And to be honest, mine don't always go on evenly and correct all the time. So just do your best. Remember that these are handmade and each one is different. They're all one of a kind. Yay, look at this cutie. I don't know if I can sit him up because of the way the camera's angled. But there we have it. He's all together, big and fluffy, fluffy and soft. There you have it.